Greetings, welcome back to Hand of Fate. Let's continue our game. Into the depths we go, searching for the dead and dying. Okay. Oh, King of Queen. So much of death and sorrow in the world. Can you hear the winds keening in loss? Can you hear the dirges as the trees and the earth cry out in sorrow? Uh -uh. Is the queen of skulls, and that is all she can hear. It has driven her to madness. Her touch is the promise of death, and I say to you, you were warned. Farewell. I wanted to get rid of that axe. Let's take this. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so many cards. Graveyard I can leave. I like that mess god. Stranger in the shadows I can leave. Heroes remains. Mr. Lionel. The lands of the Queen of Skulls are unhealthy for the living. Oh, what's that? of the game that you have attained. They were too weak or too inflexible, too passionate or lacking in the necessary will. You are different. Really? Great news, Mr. Lionel declares, excitedly bursting from the back of a wagon as it passes you, along a well trodden path through a sunny meadow. One of the Goblin King's sons has decided to challenge the old fool for his position as a ruler of a people. Under Goblin Law, he can legally take his father's place if he can beat him in single combat. But the king, crafty slug that he is, has hidden the crown in the treasure vaults. Without the crown, the leadership cannot be resolved. There must be chaos in the capital. Hmm. Oh, Goblin Town is hidden away in an enormous cavern under one of the Kingdom cities. You wouldn't believe which one, even if I told you. It's full of teeth, you know. No point visiting unless you have business with the king or his family. Anyway, the point is that the crown is in one of the treasure vaults. If you can find it, then I can use it to blackmail the king into letting me back into the city. How about it, friend? Okay. That's the spirit, Lionel says gleefully, rubbing his hands together. That crown is going to get me back to my rightful place. You lead the way this time. Hours later, you stand staring through the doorway into another vault. Good luck, my friend, Lionel says, giving you a reassuring pat on the arm. And the treasure chest. The crown must be in there. You pause for a moment, wondering if that was a voice you heard echoing between the traps. Lionel gives you a helpful kick to the rear, sending you through the doorway. Okay, okay, we don't need to. Whoa, 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 those were hidden! Oh my goodness, ah! He's shooting! Hey! What? What the hell is going on here? No! Okay, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna die if it continues. Where's the chest? I didn't find the chest! God damn it! Where is the crown? Your goblin companion demands, springing out of nowhere as you exit the maze. What do you mean there are goblins and there are throwing bombs at you? That's quite new! The crown must, the crown must be inside! Wait! They're probably moving the crown to another vault as we speak. You better try harder next time. Oh, Didn't see anything. Whimsy and caprice. The domains of the old gods. 
Were they always thus? Or has age corrupted their natures? On a deserted hilltop in a faraway land, you discover an old altar. The gods of the old religion are powerful, yet unpredictable. Your favors. Do you wish to pray at the altar? Sure, why not? On bended knee, you beseech the gods to aid you in your quest. A distant rumbling on, and a flash of lightning answers your prayer. Oh, many of these blessings <laughs> are too good for the likes of you. Well, I don't like you either. I will. More step down, and we may see the end of this, or another set of stairs. Mm. Or a ladder, or a cave, or a sheep, or whatever else we put there. Oh my god, snow! Okay. Oh yeah, we know that. Give me that. <laughs> Yes! Is that what you're going to do? Yes! And I'm not going to the Dark Dweller. Descend ever deeper into the subterranean pit. I did not create this game, you know. I have merely perfected it. You have begun to understand my innovations. You're traveling through a quiet hamlet. At first, its rural aspect appears quaintly serene. But, you, but as you near the central square, you realize that the lack of activity is due to disaster. A scene of great destruction reveals itself, and you wonder what army or force of nature besieged this place. You spot one villager retrieving their belongings from the pile of rubble that used to be their home. You call out to them. The villager's head snaps around like a frightened woodland creature. Are you quite mad? Such noise will only tempt the beast to return. Can you not see that we've suffered enough? Upon further quieter enquiry, the villager tells you that a ghostly pale beast smashed through town a few days before. It destroyed or devoured everything in its path before heading east out of town. May the gods have mercy on any who cross its path. You cannot tell whether this is a warning or a prayer. It is easy to follow the trail of carnage from town into the woods. However, once there, it becomes much, much more difficult. Many animals and beasts travel here, and their tracks are crossed and confused. Oh no, oh no. Ah! Damn it. A countless number of footprints, tracks and scratch marks create an incomprehensive mess that you cannot decipher. We will eventually. The more powerful the site, the more vile its trespasses. While searching the sacred tombs of Wandermere, you come across a group of skeletons conducting a dark ritual. Their attention seems to be focused on clothes on sarcophagus. You approach the undead fiends carefully, then charge into their midst. Does it work? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, away with you. Really? That didn't hit? Thank you. <laughs> uh, 
As the last broken bone clatters the stone floor, you realize that your intervention has come too late. The sarcophagus is slowly cracking open. You quickly grab what you can from the area and flee the chamber. Hmm. Let the lizard men beware. Ooh. Give me that. Standing outside a moment later, you hear an unholy shriek that will haunt your dreams this forever. This will unlock more cards and then still more. Ooh. You must dig deeply if you wish to discover the heart of this mystery. Of course, so few trade in the land of death that deals are easy to strike. Press the world's movement speed, that's nice. Ooh, recent encounter doesn't own this one instead of the one I have. What will you do with that? Oh, what's that? I will sell this as well. That. No, don't touch that thing. I want something else. I would lots of scars, but I'm f okay. You know what? We can always get come back here. I just don't trust my stuff. What it is, Ratman? Yeah, oh, there's again no. a token is at stake. Okay. Choose from uh, these options. No. Sensing the hidden malice about the place, you turn and try to find your way back out of town. You somehow lose your way and end up heading further into the crowds. The smile. A stand of fortune teller entices you to enter. Sitting opposite a shadowed old crown, you look into the crystal ball and see yourself in combat sometime in the future. Oh my. The vision continues long enough for you to see yourself struck down, your blood spilling out until you lie cold and dead. The old woman speaks with a thick accent. Your future. Yes? You leave the tent and feeling unsettled as the woman wheezes out a laugh. Okay, I will go by back and buy those cuffs and shield. Permanent discount for those willing to endure the local color. Uh, it will give me two more curses. Oh well, never mind. Oh, this. Eh. Start different stuffs. Okay. Thought it won't change. Damn it. What brings you to play the game? Ha. I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Okay, I'll give you five the food. Give me the blessing. Okay. Gods look upon you favorably. I think so. I'm gonna die from starvation. Open the chest. Know what see what's about. Contains. I'm curious. Thank you. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. I think this one is safe. Okay. After a mighty heave, the dog gives way and the spots are yours. Food. A little gold. I need food. I'll give you a taste for it. Hmm. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Let's I don't have any artifacts, I'll leave you. I 
guess he's do, do I have some artifacts? No, I have none. What an ignominious way to go. <laughs> I do hope you find something to eat soon. Yeah, I will buy I'm something to eat. I'm they have difficulty selling their wares here. Oh, that's such a high high price. Do you have some? Uh, this is nice. Oh, give me that. I appreciate your ingenuity. I look forward to seeing how you approach this particular challenge. Mm -hmm. And once sure more, okay. What about those pockets? Mm, yeah. This one. When struck in combat, the player. Oh, yeah. Nothing new. And last man standing. In every combat, the last enemy alive can no longer be stunned or interrupted. Okay, Alicia! Oh, god damn, I have to pay her. Forgot about that. Not think you have what it takes. Damn it. I bought too much food. Really? Okay. Once again. A choice. Select your desire. We'll spend the whole day. You know I hate you. Okay. Okay. Uh. You. Thank you. Powerful magical trinket, such as that one you're carrying. Yes, I'll give it to you. You hand over an artifact to the mystic. She appears quite surprised. Oh, okay then. I guess now I have to tell you all the many things I know about the underworld. Gone is the smooth voice of the mystic, replaced now by a much more agricultural accent. Seemingly unsure of her words, the underworld is a strange, uh, mystical place. Look, the mystic, the real one, just pays me to drive the carriage and look after the horses. I just feel in a Occasionally, the other day she comes over all strange, talking about portals to the underworld and such, and says she's going to investigate. That was two days ago. I'm starting to get a bit worried. Will you go look for her, adventurer? I will. You venture out into the woods behind the mystic's caravan and soon come across another portal like the one at the village sacrifice. As you edge closer to the portal, a powerful voice booms out in a delighted cackle. At last, a visitor to my domain! Once you're ejected on the other side, you shout to the sky about your search for the mystic of San Revere. Your mystic is dead, the voice replies. She came with no understanding of the power here. Her foolish soul now feeds me and my minions, as will yours. Oh my goodness. No, no, run, 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 run. No. 
Use the ability! No, run, run, run! With the last hell beast slain, the voice rings out once more. You have won for now, but my forces will rise up and take the land above by force. You cannot stop us. You have earned this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but at what? Cast, cast. Yes, <sighs> give them here. I will deal with them. Oh my goodness. I hate when they do that. Really? Okay, I cannot run from that. Okay, this one's dead. Don't you dare. Nothing. Okay. Thank you. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? Nope. No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Of course, I am different. My powers are genuine. As you traverse a particular tricky trail across a mountain ridge, notice a dark ravine beneath you. Something glitters in the dim sunlight, sunlight that reaches the base of that cavern. In the gloom of the narrow canyon you find the old remains of a wooden cart, apparently having fallen down years ago. You find nothing of worth except a chunk of glittering metallic ore. It might not sell for much in its current state, but perhaps you can find someone who can use it. You take it and make your way back up to the path. Usury, the root of all troubles. In a busy market town, you are approached by a shopkeeper on the verge of losing his store. If you lend me the gold I need to save my store, I will pay you one day. With interest? Okay. The shopkeeper gratefully accepts your gold, saying, You won't regret this. After 10 steps, okay. While resting at the inn of a small town, you are suddenly accosted by a young man. You, it's all your fault, you doomed the village of Dimsgate. The wild con white council thinks that we paid you to attack their men. In retribution, they have plagued our town with the undead. One day, a group of mages appeared out of nowhere and laid a curse on the town. Some men, my father included, tried to stop them. But it was hopeless. The magical shields blocked every blow. Then they conjured a hell of enchantment arc arrows that pierced our men through flesh, bone and organ. We had to abandon our village. Even now, 
A hold of the living dead keeps us from returning. And so you should help. You can start by returning to our village and clearing out the undead. The number seems to be limitless. You return to the village of Lesser Demon's Gate, now cursed by the Wild Council. The eerie silence lies heavily upon you as you walk the deserted streets. In the town square, you discover a pair of unusual totems. They are made of bone and glow with an unnatural energy. The unliving bones of fallen villagers walk the earth in silent vigil around them. A few weapons scattered on the ground speaks of previous failed attempts to free the village from the undead invasion. The living dead turn towards you as one well as you approach weapon in hand. Oh, whoa. Okay. Come on. Just hit him. Thank you. Later that day, the villagers learn of your efforts and begin returning to bury their dead. You've done nothing, stranger, yells an old woman as she drags a sack of bones towards the villagers' cemetery. Sorry, those rock devils will be back again when they hear of this. Next time they'll probably blast this entire village off the face of the earth. You've doomed us all. Don't mind her, young girl says. She's always cranky. Thank you for laying our phone to rest. She has a point though. They're probably going to come and kill us all unless you can stop them. Okay. Maybe I should maybe I should go and buy some more food. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. You sit at the table of the mayor of Lesser Teams Gate one evening, discussing the perils of leaving new wizards. The mage guild has always gathered in the forest at that tall tower of theirs, says the mayor, to say. It's been that way since my grandfather's day and longer. I admire your enthusiasm, son, and don't doubt your prowess in combat, but it's not that simple. If anything threatens the council, they just pop back to the tower and magic keeps anyone from abandoning its real location. No army can lay siege to or even reach the tower. Tarin, the merchant, handles that. He told me once that he just heads into the forest and eventually one of them appears with magics and the entire content of his wagon away. I suppose you could ask him to let you hide with his stock. That might get you in, but what then? Hear nothing but the sounds of morning. She is close. Yeah, I noticed that. The snow stairs appeared. Wait, is it perhaps a hint? Is she next to the way I came in? Oh, I hate those rats, really! Oh, god damn you! Really? No! Just die! No. Okay, I'm glad that the, the this, this poison doesn't work. Oh, 
poison doesn't make doesn't make me drop gold. Luckily. Thank you. Five slim. Cut them where it counts, then finish them. Yeah. Are you sure that's the right approach? I don't know whether it's right or wrong. What the hell? Oh right. <laughs> no. Moonlight, unholy creature. I'll forgive you for arriving here once, but I hope it is the last time. Choose from these options. I'm successful. Thank you. Where's my gold? Hey. Oh, goodness gracious. More food. <laughs> And give me some more and a little bit more. Anything interesting? Not really. Yeah, I'm not gonna sell it. I still <laughs> wish to find a ratman. Calling the ratman. You are braver than I if you're willing to get involved in a marital dispute. While traveling through a small town, you're accosted by a furious woman who shouts at you from the door of her homestead. You there! You look like you can handle yourself! My husband was supposed to be home hours ago, but instead he's with his balls, drinking away all our coin. They left the spoils from the last job here. If you go and teach him a lesson, you can take your pick. What do you say? Yes, if I. Now there's someone with some sense. I would go crack his skull myself, but our dragon cow is birthing out of a litter and might burn the whole place down. Poor Jack. His place is so much lower than ours. He merely repeats the same motions over and over, incapable of change. You corner the woman's husband at the local tavern. He's busy playing a drinking game with his friends. I'll try threatening him. I don't know whether it's gonna work. This one? Yay! The man eyes you uncertainly, but agrees to go back with you. Once home, the wife hands you a sack, saying, Take your pick! Oh my goodness. Um, I would like the fortitude's breath. Thank you. It. Uh, Face death and learn your fate. I really hope to be next to the stairs. Let's rush for the totem. No, 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 run! Are you the last one? Oh, there he is. Then it is done. Yep. When even a creature as haunting as the Queen of Skulls perishes, we know the game is almost done. The kings are gathering now. Do you see now what I have built? How elegantly all the pieces fit. I guess.
Go. One more round. You have earned it. Yeah, later. I need to go to a break. For now, thank you very much. Bye bye.